into my basic and let's see what I can get away with on white balance with just the uh, the dropper tool. It looks alright. A little too red maybe. You know, we'll start from, from there, right? We'll just see how that goes. And then this is obviously too dark and you can see in the histogram that everything is like sort of near the left side. I'm going to bring that up some. Right, that's starting to look a little better. Could use some contrast. So let's spread out those tones a little bit. Right. Increase this a little bit again. Usually as you increase the exposure, you'll find that you need to add a little bit of contrast or it looks washed out. And this is starting to look a little better. Uh, do I want to bring any shadow detail? No, I actually kind of like the shadows a little darker. I may even pull the shadows back a little bit. Maybe I'll pull the blacks a little bit back too. Alright, so that's looking okay. Um, maybe I'll hit this jab preset because I tend to add that to everything. Uh, Alright, so it's okay. Um, I'm not loving the color of the water. So let's go back into hue and I'll check my little adjustment thing and I'll go into the water and I'll sample a couple of points here. I like that color better, it's a little darker. I still want this red shot to look kind of, uh, I don't know, deeper. So maybe I want to make the water a little darker. So I'll go to luminance and I'll select in the water here and bring this down. And now I'm making my blues darker without making like all this nice coral darker. So that's starting to be a little bit more the effect I want. And remember too, like photography is art and you may hate what I'm doing with these colors, you know. So your your version of white balance could be different. You know, there's there there might be a technically correct proper white balance, but you know, I used to shoot shots how they looked to me underwater, and I'd be like, oh, well, it was green. It's a green shot because things looked green. You know, and then I'd see other people's shots and be like, how come the water you know always looks so awesome the days you go diving? And they're like, yeah, because I'm sucking all the green out of it in Lightroom. You know, and they're like, I'm not trying to do a documentary. I'm trying to create a pleasing image. You know, and that and that like really struck me, and I was like, wow, maybe I should try that. And I started going back to my pictures and doing some of that, and I realized, you know what, I just like them better uh, if I tend to push them a little bit more into the into the blues of how I how I was visualizing things at the time, how I was experiencing things. So this kind of fixes my watercolor a little bit. You know, I'm somewhat happy with this for now. All right, so local adjustments. All right, we'll go, we'll go through these fast. So there's this little brush up here, right? Local adjustment brush. You see when I pop this open, this popped up, right? Let's do it again. Here I've got color temperature and exposure and sharpness and all kinds of stuff. And you see it's already set to something. First thing you do when you come in here is reset it. So option key, reset. Bring everything back to the default. I know that I want to try to get rid of this green in here, right? I just don't like it. So I'm going to push this temperature slider up a little bit and we're just going to see what happens. I've now got a brush. I can basically just paint over things. All right. I can't really see where I'm painting, right? So that's not so helpful. So if I click down here, show selected mask overlay, it starts showing me like a red mask of where I'm painting. You can also just hit O and cycle that off and on, which is kind of nice. All right, so I'm just going to paint over this stuff real quickly. I'm not going to be super uh, super careful. We're, we're going a little fast here, right? But it'll give you the idea. All right. That's, that's kind of where I want to get rid of my green. So let's turn the overlay off. It doesn't look like it's made that big of a difference. So let me push this over some more. And now everywhere that I painted, this adjustment's happening, right? So it's getting better. Maybe I want to try to desaturate it a little bit. Maybe that'll help get rid of some of the green. So I'll, I can have multiple adjustments, right, on one brush. So now I'll desaturate it a little bit. Looking a little better still. A couple of important things to note here too with the brush at the bottom is I can change the size of the brush. 
usually I just do that by dragging up and down on the on the mouse. Um, and then there's also like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's two lines. Uh, the outside line is like a feather, so it basically like will feather the effect out towards the edges, so it's not like a hard a hard thing. And you can kind of change that feather size here. Thank you.